All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Rise of the Slime, which is, this is going to be kind of interesting. Let's just get going, mainly because that menu is not much of a menu. Anyway, early access version. Thanks for playing. I hope you'll enjoy it. Maris B. Why? You're Bunkovsky. Ah, see? Anyway, so I should probably, uh, I should probably talk about this game a little bit. This is kind of an interesting one, because Bunkovsky is actually a viewer of mine. And has been for a while. I should have been on this menu for the intro. Oh, do I have to click on the guy as he goes by? Or not. Never mind. It wanted me to left click. Okay. Things should be good. There's cheat codes. I'm going to turn this back up. This game's kind of quiet. Uh, maybe that might be too loud. Uh, let's see. But... Yeah, it has been a viewer for some amount of time, and I had no idea they were a game developer. And then I woke up to an email today, you know, I was like, okay, my day is going to be Outer Worlds, nothing more. And then I woke up to an email from Bukinkovsky effectively saying like, hey, by the way, I made a game, you want to play it? And I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. You're conscious. Welcome to the Void, friend. This is a place where your past does not matter and your future does not yet exist. We have chosen you as our hero for a glorious task. The Keeper of the Castle has lost vitality and monsters are running berserk. We shall grant you a new life and the class of an adventurer so you are able to evolve. Go. Do good deeds and make the land free. And then, make it bow before you. Go now. Okay, regular deck. Unlock by collecting soul fragments in your adventures. Bonus info, good luck. And yeah, same deal. Well, basic deck. Okay, those sound effects are kind of loud. Uh, I guess we're just going to live with it for a second. Anyway, uh, I pretty much can't change anything, so we're just going with this. Uh, let's see. So, Slushy the Great, Zero Cycles. Title, Maker of Poor Choices. Favorite clothing, green socks, race, slime. So, base health 40, no special skill, no familiar, and no elemental affi affinity. So it looks kind of roguelike-ish, but maybe not. Okay, that's going to get loud. Here, I have an option. Because we don't need the gain on for this game anyway. I'm going to turn that off. There we go. Love the cutout sun sticks. Yeah, no, I absolutely adore this art style. Like... Okay, that's that's just deck stuff. Oh, what is this? Hi. Okay. Definitely needs a sound effect slider. So can I can I seriously not change? Okay, we're gonna go back to the menu. Uh let's see, audio. Cause yeah, currently I'm gonna turn that up. We're gonna turn this back down. Cause those sound effects are punchy. And I would like to be able to control those and turn them down because I want to hear the music. Anyway, continue. Looks like we're back to where we are. I don't know if there's going to be a tutorial or not. I'm not sure if I need it. Okay, your turn. Three mana. And turn. Okay, so I... Uh, yep, there's the tutorial. When in combat, click on enemies or let... Uh, or yourself to play cards from your hand. Or double-click on a card to quickly play it from... On the closest available target. Closest. Closest. Uh, let's see. Add defense. Deal damage to the creature. Free movement. Range minus two spaces. Okay. So I'm just going to sort them up, and then we're going to shield up a bench and see how it goes. Sometimes you don't really need a particularly complicated tutorial. Sometimes it's kind of just nice to have a game that is self-explanatory. And this makes perfect sense. Okay, so what do we have? Lightning! Two damage, two lightning strikes, two times two damage. Remove this card from the combat deck. Interesting. I'm afraid we've lost that, but I'm assuming that's just, like, once per combat. Victory! And I get... Choose a card. Dagger fan. Three, throw three daggers. Three times two damage to a creature and draw a card. Dagger throw. Throw one damage. Uh, dagger. I... Uh, I'm not sure why I would pick dagger throw over dagger fan. We could also get strength, which increases my, my damage by one. Yeah, I'm gonna go for strength. That sounds really handy.
Okay, that guy looks a little punchier. Here I go. Brute strength. Okay, when you get a buff or a debuff, that will affect your stats. Your boost damage or inflict something negative. You can see what it does by holding right mouse bumpin' bump bumpin'. Bumpin' over yourself or an enemy unit. So if I go over this, defensive. Oh, I thought he was supposed to do that. I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh let's see. Quick step. I'd like to kill that guy. I'm not sure how. This is going to work exactly. I'd like to kill this guy, but next turn. Because they're going to hurt, probably. Looks adorable and pretty much like Slay the Spire. Yeah. I, I'm i getting that as kind of the basics here. I'm sure it'll have its own things to stand out. But the initial, the initial impressions are very much Slay the Spire. And that's kind of an okay thing. Okay, so I can draw two cards. Or we can strength up. Okay, so he's pretty beef chunk. Oh, that's not enough damage. Whatever. We'll kill him on the, on the next one. But honestly, like, I can't get enough of these games. Even if it ends up being kind of similar. No matter what. Oh, does Dagger Throw get you a free dagger? Maybe. Looks like he's mostly just buffing himself for reasons. Well, I got nothing but defense after this. So I guess just tank up. Wait. Okay. Oh. Oh, killing that guy healed me up? Maybe? I got a heart out of it at the very least. He has turned. He's got shields. I think he's supposed to be beefing up his, his buddy that I just killed, but he was not. Oh, and I can just keep strengthening up. That's awesome. But yeah, I can't get enough of these deck builders. You know, yesterday I played Ratopolis. And it was super fun and super interesting. And, you know, now, now we've got this. And what other games? I mean, obviously we've got Dicey Dungeons. We've got Slay the Spire. We've got how many other ones? There's tons. And, like, I really like this trend because deck builders tend to be some of the more dynamic games I've played. Oh, I guess uh, we had SteamWorld Quest. Not exactly the same, but still pretty dang good. Yeah, so I don't think this guy actually is supposed to attack at all. I think he's supposed to buff up the other guy, and the other guy's supposed to beat me down. Because all this guy has is strength buffs and, and shields. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Am I going to play Retopolis again? Absolutely. I might wait for a patch or something, though. One way or another, I have to wait till November. Because I... The shuffling in this is a little odd. Because we throw it in the discard pile. I'm not actually sure if these are getting shuffled. Or they're... Oh, I see. It, we just need one more card and it should be fine. Yeah, when it's not a demo, Retopolis should be great. Yeah, exactly. It's such an interesting and fun concept. It just needs more. And that's true of quite a lot of games. Like, this is also early access. And I can guarantee for you, also probably needs more. Strength Burst. Gain Strength Buff. Remove this card from your combat deck. Water Puddle. Change the terrain to water. Run space. Remove from deck or heal. Let's grab Strength Burst. We're gonna go ma maximum beef. Uh, let's see. And Shield Plus or heal? Go Shield Plus. And we get Muns. And onwards. I have a lot of Muns and I've got a decent amount of cards. Alright. I wonder when I get to upgrade my mana count. At some point. So what do I have? Strength Burst. Regular Shield. I do 5 damage. You know what? Let's just... Oh, out of range. Oh. I might as well just go for murdering him. And the music is gone. Weird. Well, like I said, early access. Is this even on, like, available for purchase yet? I I actually do not know nearly mu as much about this. Yep, so this came out today. It is 10 bucks and very much early access. I don't think early access is bad. Especially in this game's case. 
Okay, so he's... This guy is just useless. We might actually be in danger if he was more aggressive. But as it stands, he's just defending. And we're going to murder that guy. Oh, actually, hold on. Strength up. Lightning. Oh! Lightning is not affected by strength bonus. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's see, and yes, for Windows, on Steam, all the usual goodies. So we'll want to get rid of that lightning card, because it's not as good as I wanted. The dagger throw would actually be pretty good. But that's that's okay. I love the cute little... I, I love this art, art style. Like, Slay the Spire had a neat style, but it was always kind of ugly. Good, but mainly just because the game was fantastic. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. Do I... Yeah, let's shield up. I'll work on killing that guy in the next round. Hope that magic comes back. Yeah, damage types. Yep. And it looks like the mage dude is buffing himself again. Like a fool. Ah, a defense. No, why? Luckily, this guy's still useless. <laughs> well, let's see. Slay the Spire. Larger combat and slimes? Looks like it. Let's draw cards. You know, I was kind of expecting a little bit more oomph than that. All right, whatever. We'll just shield up. I'd like to kill him, but we didn't draw enough attack cards there. The AI needs a little bit of work. Yep. Uh, that said, this is a a solo dev situation. So, like, I'm going to give a pretty hard pass on how things go. And I think he's got a patch on its way, like, right now. If you didn't already get it together. I'm not entirely sure. I say I wasn't paying attention, but I've just been busy today. I was I was watching Cryoris play this for a li at least a little bit, and it looked really, really charming, which is why, you know, part of the reason why I went out of my way to play it tonight. Because it actually is good. He has an attack! The dude will actually attack! Ah! Who'd have thought? Strength up, stab up, and shield. Ish. Yeah, seriously, I was not expecting any amount of violence from this dude. But there it is. And he's back to his usual tricks. Hopefully the music comes back after this fight. I will admit it's a little on the slow side, but it feels like that'll probably change as my deck improves. Because, yeah, currently I'm just chucking rusty, rusty bits at, at things. Okay, duplicate card... Strong Rusty Blade. Let's go for that. Oh. Okay. Deal 2 damage to creature, draw a card. Add 10 defense and strength. That's incredible. Okay, music, please come back. At least I can always quit to main menu and return. Okay, there it is. Now, is this just the usual defense mage man? Yeah, strong build. Here we go. Oh, absolutely. Maximum beef, always. Uh, let's see, tower shield. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hug this guy, and get rid of the quick step. It's, it's the competition to see who is the beefiest. Buff Goblin, or me. I don't know if he's going to hit me. I'm assuming he's just going to keep playing stupid. But yeah, I, I definitely would say... Oh, nope, he does actually hit me. Oh. Uh, there's a little bit of like an animation to these attacks. You know, having to get the cards up. Oh, and that just killed him. All right. Well, we get a deck. We get a lot of gold. So I can reduce strength. Or I can increase my own. I can burn a card. I'm going to keep going with the strength bursts. Kind of get them out of there. How much is this game? I need it. It's 10 bucks. So I can buy cards from this guy. I can also remove cards. Let us get rid of... What do we get rid of? 
Get rid of lightning. Okay, what else can I buy? Five damage to a creature. I am too poor. And, okay, so it looks like it can also upgrade something. Looks like it can only upgrade these, none of the strength things. If I upgrade this to greatsword? Uh, well, I would, but it's too expensive. I can't do it. Slash? We'll go slash. Oh, 150 GP. Well, that ain't happening. I am far too poor. Camping supplies. I guess I'm good in that regard. Alright, onwards. Gardening, when you see something sticking out of the ground, try harvesting with the left, left mouse button. Oh, that's... that's adorable. Of course, I'm just murdering these things. Discard and draw. Discard a card, then draw a card. Nah. This ain't deck management. This is beef time. Okay, each of those hearts is just one HP. Whoops. Get out here. Another discard and draw. Nah. Is this my first run? Yeah, it is. Outer, Outer Worlds kind of took over. Ooh, big boss. And fire potato. What the hell is this thing? Fireling. One MP offensive. Okay, strength. I'm just going to try and survive this and get as much strength as I can. Oh, maybe I should have gone with the strength down ability. Oh, does he shield himself? Okay, he shields himself. Maybe I can ignore him, but he... At least I can outscale the enemy, because the enemy can only gain one strength per turn. Okay, he's just shielding up. Like a fool! Tower shield costs two now. I mean, kind of makes sense. It's kind of busted otherwise. Right, I'm going to see if I can kill this sucker. Nope, didn't manage to kill it. And I'm on fire. Oh, I wanted to kill the little marsh marshling. Owie. Okay, good. I can kill the marshling. I'll be able to kill it in one hit. I'm still very much on fire. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think about this. Quick step. Okay, so I'm, I've stepped out of the fire. We get a tower shield. So now, to get at me, they have to deal with the fire. Yeah, positioning is super important here. Yeah, I, I'm not used to that, but that, that's an extra layer of interesting complexity that I'm kind of looking forward to. Now, unfortunately, I can't move. Which, oh wait, no, I can't move. Okay. Kill that guy. Grab all these things, because I'm going to get toasted otherwise. No, we want to stand right there. And we'll shields up. Yeah, so you, you can move each turn. Oh, so that's why it's kind of ephemeral. Oh, is he not affected by fire? Oh no, now he is. And now he's very much on fire. Okay, cool. Okay, strength up. Tower shield up. Unfortunately, this is probably going to end poorly for me. Because he's start starting to scale. But eh, it'll be okay. At least for a little while longer. Oh, combat loot. One skill pack. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it, though. But yeah, he's going to be perpetually more on fire as we go along here. Which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Nope. That's shield. Or, there we go. There's shield. Up. Yeah. 
Ending turn definitely needs to be a little bit faster. I almost wish there was an end turn button instead of an end turn card. Because as it stands, that's a little, like, just a small little delay, and it makes it more annoying. Yeah, so we're just going to sit here tower shielding and beating him. Because his damage is scaling up, but it's not scaling it up, up enough to get through that level of defense. Also, he's just burning. Can you double-click the card instead? You can, but it's a little, what I say, sensitive. Oh, I just kill him. Perfect. Uh, half the time, I just end up, like, lifting it and moving it upwards just by a bit instead. Which isn't terrible, necessarily, but still. Damage yourself with fire. Heal double that. Deals damage to the end of the unit's turn. At the end of the turn, reduced by two. Huh. Greatsword. I like to do greatsword, but my man isn't high enough. Yeah, we can just do a greatsword for later. Because I don't have much of a fire deck currently. On discard, duplicates fire stack when discarded. E, gain more mana. Hmm. Let's go with that. Off chance of letting you, me use greatsword. And we heal. Am I back up to full health? Uh, just vaguely. I can't get any more out of that, and that's that's probably fine. Bombs? Why would you do this? Oh, I passed a turn it. I left a radish. I didn't notice. It probably just looked like background details. I'll get I'll get used to it for later. The trap room. Out. Run for it. Wow. This room just keeps going and keeps being mean. But we're good. Okay. Oh, and there's a pot back there. And wow. These guys are goblin bombers. Bit on the, well, say a bit on the nose. That's understandable. Strength up, strength up, and we'll just do six damage to this guy. Drop the pot on an enemy. I'm not sure if I can right now. Oh, it's just there. Okay. Five damage at the end of the turn. So, what that means is these guys are pushovers. Okay, except movement. And let's see, what do I have? I've got the great sword, but I can't do much with it. Unless I draw two cards. I was really hoping one of those would be free mana. Oh, well. I'll just hit that guy. Because if I had free mana, I could have just totally uh, great sworded one of these guys. Oh, and now he's burning. Let's see. So he's just sitting... They're just sitting there and burning. You fools! Okay, gain mana. Strong blade. I guess they'll just kill that guy. Strength burst. Oh, that guy... That guy was loaded. Let's see. I don't need to do quick stab, so I guess we'll just hit him a bunch. He's just, just gonna sit there defending while he's on fire. The fool! See, are there more pots? I don't see any other pots, but that's okay.
Let's see, on the right. Oh, yeah. Now, if I hit him with the rusty sword, he dies, and I don't move closer. Okay, that's good. And I don't take fire damage for walking through fire, yeah? Okay, cool. I have a box back there, but nope. Well. Boop. Why well, this guy didn't get involved in the last fight? Well, that's his problem. Not mine. And we get another one of these. Which has... Quick Slash. Five damage to a creature. Four defense or two times four damage to a creature. Let's go Impale. Quick Slash would have worked just about as well, too, but... Eh, eh. Spatial Rifts. Walk up to one of the Spatial Rifts and enter a Rift to choose the path available to you. Okay, so we can go to the sh shop. Let's go. Let's go shopping. Oh, I see. They don't change like a path. It's just uh, choose one or the other. Oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Draw from discard. Strike draw. Or upgrade cards. Upgrade that. They'll go plus six. Empty looking one is usually an upgrade room. Oh. Does that just up upgrade a card for me, then? Or, oh, you upgrade yourself. Gotcha. I'd like to upgrade the greatsword. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Just so I have a higher chance of it. And you know what? I'm going to upgrade my shields, primarily. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any cards I want to remove. But yeah, I'm just going to upgrade shields. Can I upgrade them again? I can. It's still expensive. But I figure this way I only have to use one shield instead of two. Currently. Okay, so Rusty Sword, Shield Plus. Hit that guy. We'll be okay, I think. It's unstable. So, uh, two if it's still the same. I think Great Swords are no longer unstable. Unstable. Yeah, Great Swords just do a bunch of damage. Okay. There's a bunch of them. I don't have much for AoE here either. Luckily, they're mostly garbage, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, because the bomber's not immediately that dangerous. That guy's not that dangerous. Okay, gain mana. Great sword, the bomber. Yeah, that's a pretty valid strategy. Ignore ignore scaling. Just become beef. Unfortunately, I need more mana cards. That's easy. You can, uh, nope, he just moves there. And defends. Ace choice. Absolutely ace. Yeah, I definitely will play more of this probably tomorrow. Or while I'm on vacation. I'd like to play more immediately, but I'm hopping on a plane on Saturday morning. And I need to make sure that I'm going to have a nice big backlog of Outer, outer Worlds before I go. Because I'm not going to be able to record that while I'm gone. Other stuff I'll be a little bit better at. Uh, let's see, do we do 10 damage? I think 10 damage is going to be better than the Rusty Swords. We might want to get rid of the Rusty Swords, all things considered. There's better. There's better items than them. And they're not going to scale up damage-wise that much. Ow. So you're killing elves? I think they're goblins. They're elfy goblins, but they're goblins. Yep, yeah, buff goblin. Beef up. Let's see. Do we sword him? Do we shield up? Let's just shield up. 
I'm doing fine, but I want to safeguard that HP. I can kill these guys a little bit faster. But sustaining damage is bad news. And who knows when they're going to attack me. Most of these guys are kind of worthless, so I don't need to worry about it. But yeah, I, I will say I absolutely adore this art style. It's very simple. It requires next to no animation. But at the same time, it's kind of nice and expressive. Let's see. Let's draw cards. Let's see if I get the mana boost. I do not, but I do get tower shield. Ha ha! I will sit here and I will become beefier and that's it. Let's see. This is just a battle block uh, theater cutscene. You can't fool me. I mean, we don't have Stamper narrating over the whole thing. Now, if Stamper just occasionally went like, Whoa! Would you like wreck something? I'd be okay with that. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that's going to do a shit ton of damage. Let's buff up and impale. Still hoping for that greatsword combo, but at the same time, I'm ridiculous. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Yep. The one time I didn't have any defensive cards, but that's fine. I did change my stream title, right? This new setup is bad. Yep. Okay. So what do I got? I could draw... Let's just tower shield. Kill him slow. I could try and kill him faster, but like... I don't think I was going to be able to take him out this round. And just in case he comes after me. I'll figure it out. Oh boy, I am hungry. I have had... What have I eaten? even eaten today? Soylent and toast. Yeah, that would explain why I'm hungry. Because I'm going on that trip, I've been in, uh... Yeah, they're actually starting to attack me here. Uh, I've been in... Kind of finish off leftovers mode. Let's see, is the mana card a one-use card? I didn't think it was. But I haven't seen it come, come by again, so I, I guess it is single-use. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Quick step. Hello. I get closer. So yeah, that is, I guess, a bit of an issue. But Rikoli needs to fix it. Wait, you mean I can't use it again ever? The great swords boof away if you don't use them. No, they don't. That got that got changed. Great swords are are not ethereal anymore. Okay, so I've got an Impale. How much damage do I do? I do 11. He's got a little bit more than that. Well... Let's see, 2 times 12. I guess I'll just Impale him. I feel like the decks don't shuffle particularly well. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to keep taking damage. Maybe? Okay, and that's just my character card. Oh, well, that's fine. At least they're just sitting there and buffing, so I can just happily smack them around in the next round. I think I get one more strength. Let's see if I get lucky. I do not. I do get a tower shield, though, which I guess counts. Boop. It's very slow. Which I think is going to be my, my biggest running complaint is just in general. Great game, great mechanics. I'm liking where they're going with it. Uh, it's just, it takes a little while for everything to go. You know, the half second waiting for it to say like, uh, you know, your turn or getting your uh, yeah turn finished or getting your end turn stuff up. Makes it feel just that much more sluggish. And having just a like a toggle fast mode would be lovely. 
All right, I'm going to lay a wreck, wreck down on that guy's face. Okay. I get a lot of boosters. Uh, let's see. Let's grab another tower shield. And dagger fan. And gain mana. Okay. So I want to check my deck for a second. Yeah, so... It doesn't say that gain mana is anything that burns itself. So I still have it. 